I've been asked to pick my least favorite puzzle from every single Nancy Drew game. With Secret Skin Kill, I think I'm going to go with the Soup Ladle puzzle, because it's a little weird. You sort of have to have the Soup Ladle in your inventory to begin with, because the puzzle doesn't quite give you enough time. With Secret Skin Kill Remastered, it's definitely that elements puzzle which requires you to take 18 different steps and write them down and sort them. Ugh, that's way too much work. The endgame puzzle for Stay Tuned for Danger is really nasty. You just have to guess the correct sequence to open the door. There's no hints, you just have to guess it correctly. It's random every single time, and the game does not give you enough time to solve this randomized puzzle. I don't like the tile puzzle and message in a haunted mansion because it's too picky, but I think my least favorite is the Chinese symbols puzzle, because if you have not been drawing down every single symbol throughout the entire game, you're going to get stuck and have to go through the entire house again just to find those symbols. I don't like this jigsaw puzzle in Treasure in a Royal Tower. The pieces look way too similar to me. I always get stuck and it takes me about 10 minutes to solve this puzzle. I don't like the slider puzzle in the final scene because it's a really nasty slider puzzle. The audio narration puzzle is my least favorite in Secret of the Scarlet Hand. I always cheat on that puzzle if I can. In Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake, I don't like searching for the dozen little critters. That puzzle basically forces you to wander the woods over and over and over again. It's super easy to get lost, and you have to do it twice, during the daytime and at nighttime. Every time I do it, it feels like I'm missing just one or two critters, and I have to do everything all over again from the beginning. That's not fun. With Haunted Carousel, I know people are expecting me to say Barnacle Blast is the worst puzzle. I actually think the worst puzzle is getting the brass ring from the carousel. The timing on that is pretty difficult. I always seem to screw up and I'm forced to watch the scene of Nancy dying over and over again. I don't like finding the clams in Danger on Deception Island. When you do find the clams, you're given a really long memory challenge. I don't know which of those two puzzles I dislike more, so I'll just say the clam puzzle and its reward are my least favorite puzzles of the game. Vegetable picking is clearly the worst part of Secret of Shadow Ranch. It is such an awful puzzle. I know people are expecting me to say Bull is the worst puzzle of Curse of Blackmore Manor, I think it's the typing challenge. It's just a weird random challenge where you press different buttons on your keyboard and it's not fun at all. I hate doing mini golf in Secret of the Old Clock. I am so bad at the mini golf. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I also hate the card picking challenge from Mr. Topham. And I hate the dressmaking challenge. It's a game with three puzzles that I very much dislike. I dislike both puzzles at Fatima's in Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. The horse puzzle is just random. There's no way to win, you just have to guess until you get it right. You can't figure it out ahead of time. Similarly, the pachinko puzzle feels a little random, because you've got the balls bouncing all over the screen, going into different holes, and they never seem to go in the right spots. It always takes me many tries to solve either puzzle at Fatima's. No surprise with Danger by Design, the worst puzzle is developing the photos in the dark room. I can't think of anybody who actually likes that puzzle. Similarly, everybody dislikes the Frass puzzle in Creature of Kapu Cave. It's long and it's boring. I don't like doing Fox and Geese in White Wolf of Icicle Creek. If you only had to play it once, it would be okay. But you have to play it three times, and it just takes forever. Like, over a half hour, most times. I hate having to fight the wasps in Legend of the Crystal Skull. Ugh, bad puzzle. The Tesserae puzzle is a really bad one in Phantom of Venice. Sort of like Fox and Geese, if you only had to do it once, it would be fine. But you have to do it four times, it takes forever, it's really hard to get everything correct. But it's not the worst puzzle of the game. 
The worst puzzle is the one at the end where you have to go through all the sewers. It's a really hard puzzle to visualize and figure out. I tend to get stuck even when I'm trying to follow the instructions that come in the game. Haunting of Castle Malloy has the chemicals puzzle, which is the stuff of nightmares. It is just a terribly hard puzzle. Expect to die many, many times while trying to solve it. In Ransom of the Seven Ships, my least favorite puzzle is pretty much all of the monkey puzzles, but I especially hate the monkey puzzle that you play as George, because that one is just random. There's no way to win. You just click the button and hope you win. Very much like the horse game in Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. I know other people dislike the hourglass puzzle and the final puzzle, but this monkey puzzle is the worst one, in my opinion. I don't like climbing the tree in Warnings at Waverly Academy. You have to remember where the squirrel jumps, and it's just too much memorization for me. I don't like the TV puzzle in Trail of the Twister, but the worst puzzle of the game is catching mice, because you have to do it four or five times, and it just takes forever. It feels like a puzzle they added to the game just to make the game a half hour longer. Shadow at the Water's Edge has some pretty bad puzzles. The portrait backing puzzle, ugh, that one's awful. So is this puzzle, whatever you call this puzzle. It's just long and tedious, as is the Master Sudoku puzzle. And my least favorite, this Master Renograms puzzle. Because it's the longest and most tedious puzzle of the game, it's my least favorite. In The Captive Curse, I think my least favorite puzzle is moving things around in Renata's bag. In Alibi and Ashes, I do not like the puzzle of fixing the audio levels in Bess's interview. I've never really understood the logic behind that puzzle. It always seems to be random guessing until you get it right. The Rock Puzzle in Tomb of the Lost Queen also seems to involve random guessing. And I've definitely gotten super stuck on this puzzle before. It's no fun having to do the puzzle over and over again. The circuit board puzzle in The Deadly Device is a particularly nasty one. You've never had to deal with circuit boards before this part of the game, so it's doing a completely new puzzle with a completely new concept, and I always have a hard time remembering which piece is which. Opening the safe in Ghost of Thornton Hall is pretty bad, but I think the worst puzzle of the game is the clocks puzzle. That one is just nasty. It has a lot of guessing and checking. The Tartan's puzzle in The Silent Spy is pretty bad. It's very long. I have no idea how Bridget manages to use her cell phone every day if solving this puzzle is the only way to unlock her phone. In the Shattered Medallion, I was going to say the tiebreaker puzzle. What even is this puzzle? What, what is it? It makes no sense. But then I remembered the final puzzle of the game, which also makes no sense. I can't figure out the clues. I've never solved this puzzle on my own. In Labyrinth of Lies, the seeds puzzle at the end is pretty bad. It really destroys the momentum because you're forced to stop and do this puzzle for a very long time. I understand why they wanted to end the game on a seeds puzzle, because it matches the myth, but still, this was not a good one. I never really liked the lion puzzle in Sea of Darkness. It's kind of confusing. I never quite figured out the trick to doing this puzzle. Finally, Midnight in Salem has a drawer puzzle. It's really hard to see the various pieces in this puzzle, but it's still not as bad as that wavelength puzzle with the terrible sound effects. Ugh. I don't like the puzzle. Solving the puzzle just seems to be random guessing, and I know that was a complaint for like half of the puzzles in this video. What can I say? I don't like puzzles where the solution is just random guessing. I like puzzles that I can logically solve, not puzzles that you solve by accident.